Breaking news here. It's happening. The plan to defeat ISIS was just handed to Trump. Passed down from, guess who? James Mad Dog Mattis. According to reports, Defense Secretary James Mattis presents the White House with preliminary plan to defeat ISIS from the Daily Caller. Secretary of Defense James Mattis presented his preliminary plan to defeat Islamic State to the Trump administration Monday. Mattis met with several administration principals in order to get their input, White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer told reporters during a briefing. As you might already know, the Department of Defense presented its preliminary plan to the White House today to defeat ISIS, said Spicer. This plan has been delivered by Secretary Mattis, who is currently briefing the principals on the option presented today and seeking their input and feedback. While the exact details of the plan are currently unknown, the Pentagon hinted that it will involve multiple government agencies and will tackle the ISIS problem on a global scale. It will address ISIS globally, and it's not just a Department of De Defense plan, said Pentagon spokesman Navy Capital, excuse me, Navy Captain Javis, Jeff Davis. We're charged with leading the development of the plan, but it absolutely calls upon the capabilities of other departments. And finish it up on the Daily Caller. Davis noted that the Pentagon took the lead in developing the plan, but was also working diligently with our interagency partners, as well as the intelligence community, the joint staff, and military commanders on the ground fighting the terrorist group. The new plan will reportedly counter ISIS not only in Syria and Iraq, but also in Afghanistan, Yemen, Libya, and Southeast Asia. Part of the plan may include the deployment of conventional ground forces to Syria, according to a CNN report earlier this month. President Donald Trump made a campaign promise to finally defeat ISIS. He directed the Pentagon to present him with a new plan shortly after taking office. The A-Team at Work House Intel Chairman Nunes tells Dems to stop the witch hunt. House Intel Chairman Nunes, we can't go on a witch hunt. Investigating Trump-Russia ties. <clears throat> uh, appreciate the amount of press that showed up here today because uh, you know we do need to have some scrutiny put on to the to the Russian government, uh, and we do need to know if there are any Americans that are talking to uh, the Russians uh, and anybody connected to the Russian government or Russian agents. But at this time, I want to be very careful that we can't just go on a witch hunt against Americans uh, because they appear in a news story somewhere. Amen to that. Yikes. Study does DNA test on Subway chicken, and the results are not so fresh. Please share and comment if you eat at Subway. <laughs> a recent study did DNA testing on chicken samples from Subway restaurants and found that their chicken strips had less than 50% chicken DNA. I'm afraid to read the rest of this. A DNA study by Trent University and the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation reveals that some chicken products from the sandwich chain contain less than 50% chicken DNA. According to the CBC, researchers at Trent University sampled both the oven-roasted chicken fillets and the chicken strips that the Subway uses on its sandwiches. After testing six small samples of the fillets and three small samples of the strips, the researchers ran a DNA test. The results showed that the fillets contained just 53.6% chicken DNA. The strips were found to contain just 42.8% chicken DNA. CBC reports that the rest of the DNA found in the chicken was soy, used either for either seasoning or filler. Do you know what soy does to you, men? It gives you man boobs. That's right. Research it, bro. Anyway, that'll be all for this short report. Thank you for listening. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land.